What's up Daniel? My name is Guys and welcome back to another week and another video. This week I have a great video for you because I know a lot of you have been asking about how do I get my listings from Facebook Marketplace over to my shop. So before I get into the video I just want to give you some quick announcements and the first one I want to start out with is that I am still working on the course and there is a sign up list on the description for early access and if you sign up simply go put in your name put in your email you'll be part of the group of people who are going to get early access into the course so don't miss out take advantage of it all you have to do is just give me your email and your name and your setup and you will be one of the first ones to get access to the course as soon as as it launches check out my group on facebook the freedom tribe also linked down in the description and there you will see some comments from some people who have already spoken to me and have had a very good experience with the information i've shared with them comments and announcements you know what i'm so long-winded let me take a drink of water because wow this was a lot longer than i thought i was going to be sorry oh, the life of a youtuber huh <laughs> So thank you guys for sticking around for the comments. I promise you that's it. No more of the marketing and sales pitch stuff. One minute later. Okay, so we are now inside of my computer and I'm sharing with you a test Facebook Marketplace account that I use for creating content and just testing products. So what you wanna do is the very first thing is if you have listings on your Facebook Marketplace, and you're already utilizing FPM Fox as your main software, then it becomes very easy to then take these items and get them to your shop in minutes. And this is the reason why I said in the beginning of the video that it's gonna help if you do have a paid um, account with FPM Fox because that way you'll have a lot more items you can list to your shop. And you can start out with 200 items if that's within your budget. Before we get into my computer and I walk you through and I demonstrate how you can use FBM Fox to either one, bulk upload directly into your shop or select listing by listing and push it out to your shop. You are going to have to get at least the, the basic plan, which is for 200 items and it goes for about $29. Now there is a link in the description, um, it's an affiliate link if you want to use it, it will really help and support the channel. So what's going to happen is that once you're inside the FBM Fox dashboard, uh, you're going to have a products tab which is the one that I'm looking at right now and you're going to have all your items listed in here and right now again I, I use this account for testing so I have a few items, I really don't have that many. Um, but what you want to do is once you have your items, then it's a very simple process to get them into your shop. So what you're going to want to do is you want to navigate over to uh, the buttons here on your, on your right hand side. It's either export or import. So once you have your items, you can select all of them by clicking on the top row. It's going to select all the listings and then you have the option to export them. So if you click on export, it's gonna send all your items into an Excel sheet. Now, I am using a Mac computer and I don't have Excel here, but not to worry because what I simply did, if you happen to be a Mac user, is you can take this Excel sheet and you can actually open it up on a Google sheet, which is exactly what I did. So here is the Google sheet. Okay, so I tried to zoom in a little bit better so you guys can actually see the, the sample listings that I have on the Google Sheet. So again, you're going to see the, the title of the item, the description, the price, uh, all the images, and whether or not the item is in stock, and then the supplier links. So this is actually what you're going to need in order to push this over to um, your Facebook shop. So let's go ahead and move on to the next step there's just one more thing i want to mention so there are other ways you can do this without necessarily having to use fbm fox there are other softwares out there and i'm a big proponent that you want to test all softwares available to you until you find the one that makes sense for you so there is another software out there in the market it's called hexalister uh, 
Not many people are talking about it. I do plan on making a video on Hexalister in the next coming days and maybe get it up to the channel before the end of the week. We'll see how my schedule plays out. But nevertheless, there are other options that you can use. It's not just FBM Fox. However, the reason why I do like FBM Fox for this video, it's because it's so beginner friendly. All right, so let's go inside my computer and let's walk through it step by step. Hopefully you find this information helpful. If you haven't liked the video yet, consider giving it a big thumbs up and let's go right inside my computer right now. I have to create a template. So actually, before we move on to step number two, you're going to have to set up a template for your shop so that, so that FBM Fox knows how to push the items to the correct location. And I'm also going to show you that there is an actual uh, feed where all of your product URLs um, are kept so that FBM Fox can show your products on your shop, reprice your items, and make sure the items are either in stock or out of stock, which I'm also going to show you in this video. So let's go back inside my computer and let's walk through those steps before we move on to step number two. So that FBM Fox knows um, where your items are going, whether it's marketplace or shops. So on the left hand side of the FBM Fox dashboard, there's a tab called templates. You're going to click on that. And as you can see right now, I do have two templates I have already created, but for this video, we'll go ahead and do one from scratch. So there's a plus button that you're going to see um, right here. My mouse is pointing to, and you want to click on that and you're going to get this template. So you're going to give it a name and you can call it my shop or whatever you want to name it. And when it says marketplace, here we're going to select where do you want this template to exist. So for this case, we want it to exist in Facebook Shops USA. If you happen to be in the UK, thank you for subscribing. Um, you can select Shops UK, but for this example, we are gonna use Facebook Shop USA. So that brings us to the next step. Uh, quantity again this is arbitrary is whatever you want to put so I'm just gonna put that is by default it's always gonna be a hundred items uh, shipping price I normally leave this at zero you can always go back and change it if you want to and then your markup so how much do you want to mark up your product from the actual price so by default depending on the item I like to go about 50% because in that way I can kind of play around with the numbers and I can run sales or promotions and still make a healthy profit. Uh, there are a couple other items here you can also fill in, but for the sake of time, I'm not gonna go into every single detail. However, if you wanna see more detailed information on how to set this up, let me know down in the comments. I would you know, love to make that video for you. When it comes to shop condition, the default is fine, new. And when it comes to the brand, it says auto detect. So here I will take this out and I just want to default everything to unbranded. Okay. That's just my preference. If you like to do it, you're more than welcome to. And once you have that set up, you can add a header or a footer if you want. So um, for example, header could be, you know, welcome uh, to my shop. You can add emojis if you want. And then your footer could say something like, you know, thanks for visiting, right? Something like that. So once you have this created, then you're gonna hit save and we can go ahead and move on to the next step. So now let's move on to um, making sure you can find where your actual um, data feed is going to be. And I'm gonna show you that next. So I'm gonna go back inside of my computer. I'm gonna turn on my screen and start sharing. And we'll go right back inside if I can get to it. There we go. There we go. Now we're going. I'm still too big in the screen, taking up a lot of space. Okay, so here we are. I think it's a little better. And we're going to navigate to down where it says account settings. And when you are in here, you want to navigate to where it says shop settings. And right here is where you're going to find your feed. Okay, so this is a unique URL that links to your account and to your shop. And this is how FBM Fox is able to um, do all the updates and all the you know background stuff that you don't see 
in your shop happens through this feed okay so i'm going to show you you know where this feed needs to go so let's go on to the next step right now where it says add more items and then you're gonna get these options you see on the screen in front of you so there's a manual there's a data feed and there's a pixel so for this example we're gonna go to a data feed and i'm going to select the middle one and it's gonna bring us over to the next window and it's asking us so to create a new data feed is your spreadsheet or file ready and we want to say yes it is so you want to click next and then here we're just going to ask you what type of feed do you want to bring in so for this case we're going to use a url right because that's exactly what we saw on fbm fox so let me go back to fbm fox real quickly and let me move my big old head <laughs> out of the way um so yeah so right here is the feed that we were talking about just moments ago so once you so you want to you know copy the feed so i copied it and we'll navigate back to my shop and here is where you would paste your feed from fbm fox okay so username password you can ignore that you don't have to do anything here uh hit next and this is going to ask you how frequently you want to update your feed. So how often does it synchronize with their data on FBM Fox? Hourly is the one that's recommended. And you can change the time if you want to, but for now I'm just going to leave it to the default. Hit next and you can save your feed. Okay. So once this part is completed, now you can go ahead and make sure everything is set up correctly. And you can now quickly get your items uh, listed over to your shop from Facebook Marketplace. And that's what we are going to now cover in the next uh, part of this video. So if you're liking so far the content, then please give me a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And it does help the channel quite a lot. And if you're new and watching us for the first time, welcome to the channel. And if you haven't yet subscribed, you know, consider subscribing. I do make videos every single week and there's a ton of content already on my channel that I think you'll probably find beneficial or helpful. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and move on to the next step. So now you have already set up your feed. You have already set up your template. So now those two things have been taken care of. Now we can go ahead and either bulk up list items directly to your shop or you can go one by one and I will show you both coming up next. All right, so we're, we're back inside of my computer and I'm gonna demonstrate to you now how to get your listings all squared away. So I was already doing some examples here. You can see them uh, listed, it's just a few items. So there's a couple of things you wanna do first before you start pushing them to shops. So if you are grabbing items directly from your marketplace, meaning that these items are already listed, then it's very simple. You're going to need to grab all the URLs, which I already show you. You can select all the items from your dashboard and then do the export. That's gonna give you an Excel sheet with all your items. Once you have all your URLs, then you navigate over to the bulk uploader tab. You will find it on the left-hand side of your dashboard you're gonna see this new screen up here. Once you're here, you wanna do a, a couple things before you actually do upload. So for one, depending on how many templates you have, um, you're gonna select the appropriate one. So in this case, we're gonna select my shop, which is the one that we created in this video as the example. And then it's gonna ask you, how do you wanna push this out? And right here you have, you know, Facebook shops marketplace or your personal, Facebook Marketplace. So for this example, we don't want to send it to our personal, we want to send it to our Facebook shop. Um, if there are any duplicates, uh, this will go ahead and make sure that it doesn't get uploaded. And if there are any variations in your listing, you can either omit them or you can just let them upload by checking this um, check mark right here. Okay? So once this is done, then all you have to do is click upload and all the items will get sent directly into your feed and it'll update your entire shop with all of your Facebook marketplace listings. Okay. Uh, for the sake of time, <coughs> excuse me, 
I'm not going to use the bulk uploader because it does take about a few minutes for it to actually run. But I really suggest you test this out with a few listings at a time and see how it works out for you. Okay. So that was the bulk update method for all of your Facebook marketplace listings. Now let me show you a new feature that FBM Fox, I think rolled out not too long ago and it's grabbing items directly from the suppliers list and sending them out to your shop immediately. So let's go ahead and take a look at that feature. So let's go. I was saying FBM Fox is a great beginner friendly software as you've seen so far with a few clicks you can get all your listings from marketplace over to your shop in minutes. So now let me show you a new feature that FBM Fox rolled out where from the supplier website you can automatically grab the item send it to your product dashboard on FBM Fox and then have it quickly upload it into your shop the next time the feed gets updated. So without further ado, let's go check out that new feature. Okay guys, so we're back inside of my computer and now I'm going to demonstrate um, this new feature that FBM Fox rolled out for individual listings. So you can actually start doing this with um, eBay and with Amazon. So for this video, I'm going to use Amazon as the example and I'm just looking for some random products um, so that we can just use it as examples. So you can see here that there's a save to FBM Fox um, button on the screen. So if you were to click through on the listing, right? And let's say you're interested in drop shipping this product on Facebook Marketplace. You can, you know, quickly save the product to FBM Fox and it'll get sent right to your product link. So let's go ahead and do that and we're gonna save it. So now if I navigate back to my dashboard and I refresh, I now should see the product listed. So the product is right here. So what you wanna do from here is that you wanna make sure that the product is being um, linked to your template for your shop. So to do that, you can go ahead and select the product and when it comes to your bulk actions, go to apply templates. You're gonna hit apply and you're gonna get this drop down. So from here, you're gonna select the appropriate template so in this case we're using my shop and you're gonna save it okay so once that's safe uh, it's gonna pretty much only send this item to your Facebook shop and the last thing I would recommend is that before this item does get sent over to your shop you want to make sure that you look at the product description if there's anything here that you don't want to appear on your shop you do want to remove it um, like anything like brands or anything or any marketing words, um, anything relating to payment, to PayPal, things like that typically do surface on uh, eBay listings. So you want to make sure you want to get that cleaned up and not sent to your shop. And I just realized like my big old head is once again blocking the screen. So let me uh, move myself down a bit, maybe even just minimize uh, the screen a little bit uh, much better. So. That's what I do recommend. You make sure you do those edits. Um, here is where you can, you know, manage the images, you know, which ones you want to include, which ones you want not to exclude. Uh, here is your Facebook shops uh, template. So obviously new condition, unbranded, we have already entered that, and your shop quantity, and then the category that this item will get sent to. Uh, when it comes to repricing, uh, pretty much you can leave this as the default. You don't have to really change anything. And the last thing you want to check is you want to make sure that the sales channel is only for Facebook shops via link, um, the feed link actually. So once you do all those checks, then you can hit save. And then the next time there's an update, this item will get sent right to your Facebook shop. So just like that, it easily gets sent over. This is how you can get your listings from Marketplace over to your shops done in minutes very easily using FBM Fox. Again, link is down in the description. And if you have any questions, just let me know down in the comment section below. So again, my name is Daniel. You're watching Daniel Sales Online. Thank you for watching. And if you are new to the channel and you want to learn more about Facebook shops, please click on this playlist that will be either linked over here or perhaps over here. 
and I highly recommend you go check those videos out. So I'm not going to say goodbye. I'll say see you inside those videos.